Hey, everybody. When I first learned that a ton of people use Morfolio Trace to mark up PDFs, architects, contractors, even homeowners, I was kind of surprised because I think of it as an architectural design program. But then I thought about it. All that paper in a typical filing set, the expense of a printer, the ink for the printer, the time and space required to sit at a desk with a 20-page set and go through it, and then the scanning and the Xeroxing required to send it back by email to whoever needs it, it really starts to make sense how much simpler than to just do it on your iPad, maybe even from the comfort of your home office. And also, I thought about these guys. These are my kids, and they're all grown up now. But what kind of a world are we going to have if we don't start trying to save resources and look to the future? So let me show you my system for marking up PDFs and Morfolio Trace, and maybe it'll work for you. Even though I'm big into Morfolio on the iPad, I still use my desktop as the central nervous system of my home office. So any PDFs I need to mark up come in via email first. Then I open them and either airdrop them to my iPad or export them directly to my iCloud Drive, which is the main way I get outside files onto my iPad anyway. I choose my iCloud Drive from the drop-down menu, then hit Save, and that file goes out to my iCloud Drive, waiting for my iPad to come and get it. Once the PDF file is saved to my iCloud Drive, I launch Portfolio Trace, tap the PDF button, select iCloud Drive as the source of the file, Find the PDF I want to import, then tap to load it into Morfolio. And boom, the PDF automatically loads into the Morfolio workspace as a new document, although only the top page of the multi-page PDF appears at first. I can then use two finger pinches to rotate it, shrink it, enlarge it, just like any other imported file. To see the other pages that I know are in this multi-page PDF, I tap the overlapping page PDF icon at the top left. This reveals the PDF gallery view where I can either scroll through the pages at full size or tap the multi-page gallery icon to scroll through smaller thumbnails of every page in the PDF. You can also tap on a single page, then use two fingers to expand and return to single page view and scroll through all the pages that way. Because I teach these apps in my UCLA class, I actually encourage my students to practice tapping these gallery view icons to go back and forth between single page view and multi-page view and really get the muscle memory down. You may also want to practice your pinch and zoom moves, expanding any single thumbnail into a single page view by zooming in and stretching with two fingers. Once you've found the page you want, just tap the screen once and it will open that page in the Morfolio workspace. Now to get down to business. Morfolio has a large selection of brushes, but for typical red lining I select the felt tip pen, then select red of course. Then select a line weight that will be big enough to see when the drawing is in full sheet view, but not too fat that it looks bad when you zoom in. I think this middle one's going to do the trick. And of course, you can use the famous two-finger tap to undo your actions, the same as always. Once I've got my pen chosen, I often use a four-finger tap to hide the user interface and see the sheet in its full size. Then I'll use the standard pinch and zoom gesture to navigate around the drawing until I found the parts I want to redline. Another four-finger tap brings the interface back, and I can reselect my pen and begin marking up the sheet. Again, keep in mind that the line weight you like when zoomed in may be too skinny to see when you zoom out, so choose your line weights wisely. With all this in mind, just begin redlining as if you were sitting at a 24 by 36 inch set of paper prints in your downtown office. Only we'll both know you're actually sitting in your family room with an iPad in your lap, sipping coffee, and wondering why you ever did this on paper. To view the whole sheet again at any time, just tap the layer icon on the right side of the screen and the sheet will return to full size. And practice doing that amazing four finger tap that hides the interface. Let's do that again. Four fingers, one tap, interface goes away. Once you're done marking up one sheet, tap the double page PDF icon at the top left and Morfolio returns you to the single sheet gallery view. 
You can now toggle back and forth between gallery view modes up here. And you can also use that two finger pinch and zoom to toggle back and forth. To get down to business again, just tap the page once and Morfolio will load that page into the markup workspace. So all this navigating and pinching and zooming is really cool. And now you're really good at that. Let's look at another way Morfolio saves you time and makes the task of redlining drawing so much more portable. And that is how you apply a scale to check dimensions in your PDF. To apply scale to the drawing, tap the wrench icon at the top left, then tap set scale. Then tap and drag the crosshairs of the scale tool to the end points of some known dimension, like this six foot wide opening I have here. Then tap in the input fields to enter the actual feet and inches of the known dimension you are scaling to. Six feet, zero inches. Then tap the green checkbox to register the scale. With the scale registered, now tap the super ruler icon at the top middle of the screen. Drag the super ruler around with the tip of the pencil. And notice how when you zoom in or out of the drawing, the numbers on the scale change dynamically to reflect how far in or out you've pinched or zoomed. But the six foot dimension remains constant. A double tap with a finger will rotate the scale 90 degrees, or use two fingers to rotate the scale to any angle you need. Notice that the scale is subtly snapping to increments of 45 degree angles. It's kind of a feel thing, but like so many apps that use finger gestures, you'll quickly acquire that feeling. But the superpower of the super ruler is the fact that when the scale is present, your line work will always snap to whatever incremental angles you set here under the settings icon. My angle here is currently set to infinity, which I'll explain in a moment. But if I set that snap angle to 90 degrees, then all the lines I make will automatically be constrained to vertical and horizontal lines, even if I try my hardest to draw a diagonal line. If I now reset the angle of snapping to 15 degree increments, then the lines I draw will be restricted to paths of 15 degree increments. This can take some getting used to, but I just try to be sure I make bold initial strokes in the direction I want to go. If I now nudge the angle of the snap to infinity, then so long as I keep the tip of the pencil down, my lines will follow the pencil tip at any angle. And as always, you can undo your actions with a double tap of two fingers. Anytime you like to go back to freehand sketching or freehand lettering, just tap the scale icon to remove the scale and your freehand ability will be restored. To go back to straight line drawing, just tap the super ruler icon again. Choose the snapping angle you want. And voila, your lines will follow that angle. Tap the scale icon again to restore your ability to sketch and letter freehand. And once again, I use a two finger tap to undo any actions. But I can also use the undo and redo arrows up here in the upper corner. Tap the left hand arrow to undo and tap the right hand arrow to redo anything you mistakenly undo. Of course, the other way to undo something is to tap the eraser brush, select the eraser size you need, then brush away your mistakes as if they never happened. My sources tell me Morfolio is also working on an eraser for our real world lives, but that's not out yet. Remarkably, erasing will not harm the original drawing, so you can do all your redlining on a single layer, making the task of redlining PDFs in Morfolio one of the first time-saving things you're going to want to do if you're switching your paper-based workflow over to the iPad. Ready for a quick review so far? Number one, anytime you want to get back to the page in full screen view, tap once on the layer. Number two, anytime you want to get back to the gallery showing all the individual pages in your multi-paged PDF, tap on the PDF icon at the top left. Number three, once in the PDF gallery view, use the icons at the top of the screen to toggle between single page view and multi-page view. Number four, just pinch down on any single page to return to the multi-page view. Number five, when you find the next page you need, just tap on that page once to highlight it, then tap again to open it in the workspace. 
When you're all done marking up the set and want to send it back out, tap that old familiar double rectangle PDF icon at the top left, tap the multi-page gallery view icon, then tap the edit button at top right. Then tap and select the individual pages you want to bundle up and send back to your team. When you've selected them all, hit the share button at the bottom of the screen. Specify the file type and resolution quality you need. Then tap share and wait a moment while Morfolio assembles those pages into a shareable document. Now choose whether you'd like to airdrop that document back to your desktop or send it in a text message or email it directly to another team member. In my case, these are going right back to my co-designer, Sean. With a subject heading that just says Redline Markups. And with a message that just says Call Me. Then tap the Send icon and voila, you have unleashed the time-saving and space-saving powers of Morfolio Trace, and nobody ever has to know you did it all from the comfort of your living room sofa, maybe even watching the big game out of the corner of your eye. Oh, by the way, uh, don't forget, I am working on an online course. I know when um, you come to the channel and YouTube and try and get the information you need, it's very difficult because YouTube's always sending up great new videos for you to look at. So there's no way to really get a coherent line through all of my videos, even though I wish you would. So go to my website if you would, I'll have the link below, and uh, sign up for information about my upcoming online course. I, I can't wait to uh, get it launched and start helping people and to provide a very coherent line through all of these lessons, beginner to advanced. And I look forward to seeing you there and look for that sometime uh, late spring or this summer. Thanks for watching.